boys and girls. Today we are doing scorpion star. So what do we do first? We start with the worst possible fall. I get to demonstrate a possible fall today because I love falling on my ass just for you. So I'm gonna take it so I can show what you can look out for and not do this at home. Okay, here we go. Scorpion star. Da 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 da, yay, scorpion star, let me jump into it. Oh, God. Oh, God. So, now you know that that could happen. So, we're gonna break down what you can do to prevent that from happening and doing this more technically. So my friend Magna here will actually be my base today and I'm gonna fly Scorpion Star. Uh, because of that fall, you wanna make sure there's tons of mats behind you and then we'll break down some prerequisites that you can do to build up to this pose, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do as the flyer, I'm gonna walk up to my base and get into star jumping position. And from here, okay, from here I'm gonna dip my shoulders into her feet. Later you'll watch that her feet will walk not on my shoulder, but they're gonna walk more towards my chest so that I can get into the scorpion pose, okay? Um, she's gonna give me solid support. And watch as I jump and get my hips over. If she bends her knees a little bit, it'll help me get my hips over easier. But now, if, if you're a strong flyer and you don't need that help, it helps your base because she won't need to receive that weight. Um, so what I'm trying to express is if you are a strong base, go ahead and receive the flyer's weight. Wait till the hips are over you before you press up. But if you're someone that has a newer base, but you have a strong flyer, I recommend just keeping the legs straight and the flyer can bring their hips over by themselves, okay? So again, this is if you are a newer base and you have more of an advanced flyer. I recommend just keeping the legs straight and have the flyer get themselves into store. Two, one, I'm gonna jump up. She's gonna provide me a strong platform. Two, one. Beautiful. Straight arms, Magna. Good. Bring your legs back, you're a little too far. There you go. Okay, now I'm in star position first. She's gonna slowly walk her feet more towards my chest. And as she's doing that, I'm gonna start looking at the ground more. And then I'll slowly bring my feet together, bring my hips forward, look at the ground, and then bend my legs back, creating the scorpion position. Notice I'm looking, really looking at the ground and even back behind me, this way. Create a nice arch. And make sure you don't fall back this way. You, you feel like you're coming out, bring yourself back out, and twist out to the side, which is the safest way to come out, okay? So I'm going to now demonstrate from the base cam, what the base is doing to create that um, scorpion star. Thank you, Magda. I kept my shoes on for that one because you can definitely fall over and land on your feet really hard as the flyer. So sometimes I recommend keeping your shoes on, why not? So now we're gonna do base cam to demonstrate what the base is doing. If you are, if you have more of a beginner flyer than you as the base can really help your flyer get into this pose. So the first thing I do is you'll notice that when she dips her feet in here, I'm gonna really lower my legs as low as possible because that helps her get her hips over her shoulders before I extend my legs. I'm gonna give her a nice solid support here. My arms won't be locked if I can receive some of that weight first, but keep pushing and wait till her hips come over, then I'll kick up. Watch how she kicks up. I keep my squat really low so her hips come over easier. Two, one, she jumps. I wait until her hips are over, then I push up like that. So always as the base, wait until she, her hips are up before. If you kick up too soon, what happens is it's hard for her to bring her hips over and she'll probably land back this way. From here, I'm gonna slowly walk my feet towards her chest here. And as I'm doing that, from here to there, you gotta make small movements because if you move too fast, your flyer will fall. I slowly take one foot away, put it on her chest, more towards her chest here. Then from here, I find my balance. She's, pour, she's piking strong, so she pours a lot of weight into the hands. That makes it easier for me to take my foot off. Off and onto the shoulder. So that's not on the shoulder enough. 
I'm sorry, not on the chest now. I have to walk really deep. Pea flyers underestimate how far deep you have to walk towards the shoulder. There. I'm sorry, towards the chest. There. Now she slowly looks at the ground first with her head. She starts to look at the ground and then, only then, when she feels balanced, does she bring her legs back. And you have to play with it. Sometimes when the flyer is not completely on my feet like she is now, what I'm doing is I'm, t I'm easing off the gas to bring her back this way. So if the flyer doesn't look back enough, you can help by, by easing off the gas there. And then with the hands, I can gauge too. I can pull her a little bit, but I really try to keep an open hand because if I squeeze too much, that could be dangerous for her. If she comes out, she's gonna uncurl first and then twist down. Otherwise, she'll fall back that way. So I think let's do another way to mount. Instead of mounting a regular star, go ahead and bring your feet. This is regular star feet right there, right on top of the shoulders. Go ahead and bring your feet more towards the chest there. So that way you're already, uh, your feet are already placed for the scorpion star. Two, one, she'll jump in. Wait, uh -huh, she'll jump in. Watch as I squat. If I squat and support her here, she can get her hips over first. So keep that squat only until she extends Do you kick out. There you go. My feet are ready more towards her chest. This time Magnus is going to really try to look back and down at the ground first. Look back, back, back until you feel like you're about to fall. Then, only then do you bring your legs back. Watch my toes. They're actually on her chest now. It makes it easier for her to bring her legs back. There you go, Magda. That feels a lot better. Good, Magda. Yeah. <laughs> So it's a challenging one, obviously. So what you want to do, guys, is to play with that balance. As the flyer, you really need to be able to feel super comfortable doing this on the ground before you try it on someone's feet. Um, I highly recommend doing your scorpion, scorpion hands or forearm handstands on the ground first. If you feel comfortable doing that, only then do you do this on someone's feet. So practice this balance before you go on someone's feet. See if you can get onto your forearms, like so. Um, get into your headstand. Get into a forearm stand first. Slowly look at the ground. See if you can balance this on the ground first before you try that on someone's feet. Because if you can't do this comfortably, I think you're asking for trouble when you're walking on someone's feet. Try that first and get really comfortable controlling your body and learning how to fall out of that before you jump on an L base. Um, and also you can practice doing the belly basing on the ground as one step up from that, doing star, getting used to doing star on the, on the belly base. Um, so let's go ahead and, why don't we go ahead and demonstrate that, Magda? We can demonstrate a belly basing position here. Try jumping into star from this position and from a belly base, because it's so low, if you fall out, not only does it teach you how to uh, fall out safely because you're so low on the ground, it's also a good way to mentally prepare yourself for when that fall happens, okay? Notice my feet here. My feet are more on her shoulders for this one, uh, for this star here. Two, one, she jumps, brings her hips over. And you just keep practicing this until you feel really comfortable jumping to this. And it also teaches you to, if there's a fall, to fall backwards. Oh. and to learn if, if you can fall comfortably and learn how to fall well and, and learn how to twist out only then should you go on an O base. Um, I hope this has been helpful guys. If you have found it helpful, um, let me know if, it, if there's something that's unclear, ask me in the comments and I'll try my best to answer your questions. So until next time, be conscious of when you play and play safe and I'll see you next time. Ciao.